on this episode of Street Customs. Christian Adiger is a fashion designer. Okay, so let's do it. Basically, I'm going to get a military Hummer and convert it into a luxury style Hummer for him. <laughs> Pretty uncomfortable pillows. It's called the Segway. This is the Dr. Evil ride. Noel's the owner of Monster Cable. I was going to surprise him and make him a custom Segway. These cannot be here. Why is it this hard to put on? This is why we started this project early. With a $5,000 loan from my grandfather and a dream to create the best custom cars in the world, I started West Coast Customs. For the past decade, I've pushed the envelope in car design. My name is Ryan. This is my company. This is my life. And this is Street Customs. We just had Christian Adiger show up to the shop, who is a fashion designer. He's the owner of Ed Hardy, Von Dutch, and a lot of these other brands that are out there that are the high-end, kind of boutique-y kind of brands. It's good to see you. I'm so happy you came all the way out it's here. It's not too early, man. Yeah, no, it's good. It's okay. you know? I'm building him a Range Rover right now for his daughter for her 16th birthday. So I think he wants to make sure it's exactly what he likes. Okay, it looks beautiful. And he's going to be on time? Yeah. He's oh, never been to my shop. Remember, so it was kind of good to give yeah, him yeah. a tour of my shop and show him what we do. How are you? Good to see you, man. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, great. This is the car, huh? Yeah, this is it. I come so today to see Brian to see the car of my daughter. She's going to love it, yeah. man. She's going to love it. This is the car I'm just, I'm just uh, blowing away. She's going to love it. This is my office. So in my office, I keep a bunch of different renderings for clients when they come in. I can, you know, shoot different ideas with them, show them what I've come up with. That is amazing what you did in Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. What I like with Ryan is always coming with new concepts. So I come for the first time in his office, and he tell me I'm gonna show you a lot of stuff, like you see on this security yeah. car, you know. And suddenly I see the hammer. I like that. Yes. So I got to finally show him the concept drawings. He loved them, and uh, we got a build out of it. Okay, so let's do it. Can we do it? He wants me to build him an army-style Hummer. So basically, I'm going to get a military Hummer and convert it into a luxury-style Hummer for him. Now you have the Hummer to right. do? I put uh, my name on it. There's tons of Hummers out there. The new H1s are a lot more comfortable, and that has a lot of the stuff already in it that he wants us to put into this military one. But he's, he was very adamant on, let's start with the military one. So that's what we're going to build him. We've been looking online for the last week trying to find one. That's what we found. Thank God we found one close to here. And it's exactly what we want. And that's what we're going to go get right now. He wants that those rivets and all that kind of stuff on it. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing Sean with me so he can see what we're going to start with. I haven't personally seen this thing myself. Yeah. He can go over a couple little things if there's something we need to look at. So I'm going to bring Sean to make sure we get the right thing. The guy said it's fully restored and only has, like, 5,000 miles on it or something like that after he's rebuilt everything. Whoa, look at what this dude has here. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, man. How are you? Hey, Ryan. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice Jojo. This is Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. So this is it, huh? It's actually in exact shape that the guy said it was in, so I'm really happy. It's going to be a lot easier to get this thing done in the time that Christian wants us to get it done in. How's it run? That's well, great. Yeah, let's yeah. start it up. It appears to run absolutely perfect. It started right up, no issues. It's in really, really good shape. It looks like we're not going to have to touch anything mechanical to it at all. So that's really going to uh, save us a lot of time on the build. I think we should leave these seats in it. Sean went over it. He agrees. It's a go. So we're going to get in it and go home. Leather, everything in this ish. I like the seats. 
Simple. Simple, right? We're gonna still keep it military. We just gotta give it a little bit of our touch to it, you know? We definitely need to put a big air horn on this thing. Suede headliner on the removable roof. Can we do it? The upholstery and stereo is gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna put four new buckets in it that are comfortable, seat belts, and a simple stereo. The rendering that was drawn shows a full convertible Hummer. There's no such thing as a full convertible Hummer. I'll get this thing stripped apart and let you look at it. Okay. We have to kind of work together and figure out how I can make the pictures into reality. The first thing I gotta do is strip it down. I gotta pull the roof off it, maybe I'll pull the seats off it. I, mean, I don't know how easily convertible he wants it. Well, we should make it easy, where you just pull some pins and you lift the whole top off together. You know what I mean? This is kind of what we showed him already. I think we should make it look like this. Figure it out, Sean, come on. Can we make a custom grill for this? It's something we can cut out with the hydrojet. All right, then that's the plan. Now it looks like the rendering, I guess. <laughs> We brought in T-Rock on this build just to really help him break it down, get it over to paint as soon as we can, and, you know, we'll see how it goes from there. So, we kind of come off here like this. Wes is gonna jump into it with the stereo side of it. Christian doesn't like a lot of bass anyway, so it's more putting some speakers in there and putting a stereo in there that works. It's gonna have to be loud if you're gonna hear it. Yeah. The only other thing we wanna do is like do an air horn in here. Let's push that horn right now. Well, that's pretty gangster. <laughs> so I think we should do a That's it. The original soft top wasn't meant to be taken off in one piece. When somebody does a rendering and wants something to look a particular way, Ryan says, oh, just, just put pins and pull it off. Well, it's not that easy. Coming up on Street Custom. <laughs> he rocks, cool. He's doing a really good job, but he's not a fabricator. He's in the paint shop. I'm used to painting cars and sanding stuff, and over here, you get to destroy it. It's like demolition. You needed two strips of aluminum, 82 by three, right? Yep. Okay. I'm working on the roof with this Hummer project. What I'm having to do right now is make a piece that'll sit over the front window frame. I'm gonna go ahead and start her now. Right now I have Wes cutting the strips that I'll use to put across there. The truck is so wide that I need 82 inch long strips of aluminum. There's a good chance to use the hydrojet. The hydrojet uses a powerful jet of water and an abrasive to cut through metal. It's a machine that we can use to precisely cut any pattern. We'll use it to cut steel, aluminum, plexiglass, anything. And then that'll end up getting welded to and interconnected to the rest of the roof, so it'll end up all lifting off as, as one piece. That's the aluminum that's going to interconnect the uh, roof structures. That's gonna sit, it sits on top. Yeah. And then I'll be able to run a tube from that to that. Then I'll, I'll have an actual full roof. I'm very uncoordinated. I cannot play video games, I cannot draw, I can barely write. I have no rhythm, I'm the whitest white guy you ever meet. And here I am. That in one hand, that in the other hand, and the stupid pedal on my foot. And you gotta do everything together. What do you think, T-Rock? Think I should weld myself into the car? <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. So I got a phone call the other day from Christian, wanting me to come visit his warehouse and go over the Hummer build, talk about how we're gonna unveil it and what the meaning of this Hummer really is, because I really never knew. Hey! What are you, man? 
Definitely this is a relationship that's going to be an ongoing thing. So I want him to meet my wife, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. How are you? I like Good. your cup? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Christian loves to show off, so I'm a good way to do that for him. And about all the lights, you're going to just let three or go put me all over. And he definitely always comes up with some crazy ideas, and I just take him a step further and make him more crazy. So the idea, Ryan, what, uh, what I order the car for, we're going to open a brand. Okay. We're gonna do a photo shoot the same day, then you're gonna deliver the, the, oh, the car. Cool. He said I need it in 30 days. The reason is, is because he's unveiling his new clothing brand, representing the line with the Hummer. So the Hummer is actually gonna be the basis of this new brand being launched. Okay. And then these seats are gonna be really nice, comfortable seats. Okay, music. So we got it all figured out. We're gonna get back to work and hopefully get the Hummer done. I like that actually is. All I have left of the roof is sticking my little latches that hold the front of the roof down. There we go. I got T Rock taking the doors apart. We got our half doors just to find out they were just big chunks of steel. I really want something a little bit nicer looking than that. So we're gonna reskin the two frame doors that came. And I'm gonna try to bead roll some patterns in it that looks more like the original Hummer. And go ahead and strip the other, the other three doors. So we've gotten the roof finished, got all the aluminum work done. So moving on to the front bumper now. Pretty much figured out my main design and, and just a matter of cutting and holding pipe. <laughs> it's nice to have somebody over here helping. They gave me T Rock, which is cool. He's doing a really good job, but he's not a fabricator. He's in the paint shop. Sean asked me to cut the middle brackets out and all the bumper supports out of it. I'm used to painting cars and sanding stuff where I have to make it pretty, and over here you get to destroy it, and that's it's like demolition. And especially on an old plumber like that, it makes it even more fun because these things are meant to get wrecked. I never get to really use this kind of stuff, so I'll take every advantage I get right now. Originally, I wanted a larger tube. It's a kind of a big, beefy truck, and I couldn't get the shape I wanted. I bent a loop, and it just didn't match the look of the truck at all. There's no curves anywhere on that whole truck. The loop looks soft. You're gonna, you think you're gonna bend another 90 right there? First, Joe saw it and he liked it. But everything I've done with this truck so far, Joe hasn't liked. So I, I think that's kind of maybe good. I just think the things, this thing's too boxy to, to do a what? round. Step out round. of the box. I would step down an inch and a half. So bent up a sample and it matched pretty well and decided to just go and run with that. Dude, I've so, never even um, seen one of these before. Yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? It's called the Segway. This is the Dr. Evil ride. We have a really good relationship with Monster Cable. Noel's the owner of Monster Cable. He's handicapped where this is his only vehicle that he really can get on and ride himself. It's his birthday coming up. I was going to surprise him and make him a custom Segway. I think it's important that we make him something custom and make him something that gives it a little bit of our style with his branding. <laughs> it would be cool if we could make some wheels. Skirts. Skirts would be cool. It's gonna be a fun project, something different. We are way into, you know, doing out of the box kind of stuff. So we'll see what he comes up with and give him a couple days on it. I'll come check in on it and see what happens. How about we'll put some oil slick in it? So you can push a button and shoot out oil slick <laughs> behind him. Banana peels. I'm disassembling the Segway, taking the wheels off. Oh! I might just go with trying to make these look better and I come up with some good ideas. That's the beginning to your fender. We're gonna do a fiberglass piece here. I've got Jason going ahead and starting on the handlebars with the fiberglass and the little tray. Yeah, not a problem. Thank you, sir. It almost looks like a spoke. Once I took the little silver caps off the wheels, they look like a spoke wheel, which has got five spokes. So I wanna go ahead and go with that route. The Segway 500. Coming up on Street Customs. Sean's definitely dragging out a little bit on this project. I want to give him Joe. Joe might be a bratty young kid, but he's a bit of a perfectionist. Perfect. Are you sure? You got to get out of hot rod mode and into beastly truck. We got to get 
this Hummer moving. The main fabrication I need to have done in the next day or so. Hey, are you gonna work on this Hummer with him? Yes. Okay. Sean's definitely dragging out a little bit on this project. I wanna give him Joe. Get in there and just start cracking. Do some, sh do some stuff and make him mad. Ryan called me over this morning and said, go give Sean a hand. Uh, he needs uh, help making door skins for this Hummer. I don't understand, why'd you have to modify that? Sean hired Joe. Back in the day, this young kid that just wanted to be a fabricator at our shop. They want to go ahead and cut all the skins out first and then roll them all. And then we'll start putting one on the doors. Okay. The Hummer's made as a very simple vehicle. And the way the doors are, I mean, it's just a straight bolt-on. There's no wiring, there's no windows, there's nothing. It's just a piece of metal round tubing frame. I'm just going to make a piece of sheet metal to go over them. That look OK? Yep. Perfect. Perfect? Perfect. Are you sure? I got Joe over here helping me on the doors. He might be a bratty young kid, but he's a bit of a perfectionist. That's, that's my screw up. This thing, it's a rugged military vehicle, and the stuff does not have to be 100% perfect. You got to get out of hot rod mode and into beastly truck. <laughs> Slightly different project than what I'm used to. Any kind of metal is like a second language to me, so it's, I don't know, I just go jump right in and get to it. Putting the draw latches on went pretty easy. Everything drilled out and, and matched up pretty good. Once I have the, the window frames in, and that's it, I, I can go to the body shop. Right now, the Hummer's painted a military single stage green. I'm gonna shoot it a flat black and shoot the whole interior and the truck bed with a special coating called Linex, which simply makes it real easy to clean out, spray it out with a hose, no need for carpet. Joe's gonna be in charge of getting the Hummer ready. He's gonna finish the bodywork and get it ready for paint. This morning, we were about to move the Hummer, and we had a little dilemma. The tire was flat, and it had separated from the rim, so now it's not holding any air. Take it off, put some lighter fluid around it. I'm serious. Put some lighter fluid around it, light it, and it'll pop. Junior had an idea of putting lighter fluid around the tire bead and setting it on fire, which I've heard about before, but that's when you're stranded out in the desert. I don't know about doing that in the shop. I really don't want to burn the shop down while no one's here. Jack it all the way up and put a jack under it and just spin the front end out. When I was a kid, my dad always taught me to use a rope or a strap line and pull the tire tight to make sure the bead pops out. And I haven't done it in years, but it just popped up out of my head. I know, or maybe we should tie a strap around it and boom, it works. Solid. You're smarter than the average T-Rock. We took care of that, got air in it, drove it over to the body shop, disassembled the doors, and explained to them what little was going about the doors, the door skins. I would say just get it maybe halfway straight. The top, I would definitely seal, because I don't know if there's rubber up here or not, so. You're the boss, dog. You're the boss. The reason we weld those doors just is because it's two pieces of metal, and that's going to be the top of the door. So in case there's any water leaks or anything like that, it'll lift the filler up and crack around there, and we don't want none of that to happen. So we just weld this shut for insurance, back ourselves up, make sure it's done right. Working here at West Coast Customs, it's always fun, because there's always different projects I get to work on. Right now, I'm customizing the Segway for Noel. He's the head of Monster Cable. He's disabled and walking is tough for him, but he's able to stand, so he uses a Segway to get around. It's fun because it's totally different from what I usually do. I feel like I'm working at a bicycle shop. Right now, I'm working on the fenders. I'm going to go ahead and start making the tops of the fenders and making the, the skirts that go halfway down the wheel or so and weld them all in one piece get them mounted and get them over to the body shop. Ryan's pretty much, he's asked me to just take my creative side and throw it at the Segway. There's only two fenders, so it's gonna look a little weird, but I think by the time we're done, it's painted and pinstriped and whatnot, it'll be looking good. The bottom looks pretty good, yeah? Whoa. doors 
have to match the rest of the body. The plan for today is going to be to prime the doors. We decided to prep the doors out like if we were going to paint them. Normally we prime it, we leave it real smooth for the paint to stick, so we leave a nice finish. But the customer wants a different finish on this. He wants the textury, mean look. So in order for us to do that, we have to match the doors to the rest of the body. Ah! He gets on the hood because everything's on the hood, you know? We're going to be masking the Hummer and prepping it out for paint. There's certain areas of the car that we're going to be line xing and certain areas of the car that we're going to be painting, so I have to find out which areas that we want line x on and which areas we want paint on and mask everything for line x so that way we're not getting overspray or anything underneath there that could possibly mess up their adhesion and the way they do their process to line x and stuff. The owner wants everything how it is. He doesn't want a brand new one. He wants a nice beat up rugged one. So we're just changing the color and keeping all the problems, which is complete 100% opposite of what we're usually doing because we're keeping it looking nasty instead of making it perfect. Coming up on Street Customs. Hey everyone. I think the biggest concern on this build is the Ishmael's department. He wants to take it upon himself to build seats and then he has to do the stop. He's got a lot on his hands. So I hope he gets it done. I just want to go over scheduling today. Okay. What's our plan, Stan? Uh, first thing this morning, I'm going to blast the hood, and then I'm going to have the guys start masking up on the Hummer, and then uh, we want to blast that this afternoon. Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? single stage flat base what we're going to use on this vehicle. It's basically uh, a single stage paint, so it's going to cover probably two coats and be done with it. Um, it's pretty durable stuff. It's, it's, it's like a, basically almost like a clear with the color mix in it. It's got a flattening agent already built into it also, so it's going to basically lay down it's going to flatten out and kind of get the effect that we're looking for. What we're trying to do is use this with the graininess of the original paint on the vehicle to kind of give it that rough, rugged uh, texture. I think the biggest concern with on this build is, is Ishmael's department. So this one, we just got this. If I get rid of this and this. I don't, you know, the seats is an issue and he wants to take it up, you know, upon himself to build seats and then he has to do the stop. He's got a lot on his hands. At this point, I have to make it a uh, itch style. These seats that I'm doing for the Hummer, they're going to be simple. The whole seat is going to be black with uh, red stitching. The center is going to be black. Right one's red, but I don't think it's a good idea the car is going to be all black. I think it's going to look, it's going to look pretty clean. You know what I was thinking when I thought about this? What? What we got to do is logo in it. Where do you want to do it? Here? I was going to go full speed on the seats, but then Ryan told me that he's waiting for the logo. All of a sudden, he came up with a logo thing, so I have to wait. Here? So I'm like, stuck. <clears throat> that's, the, that's, the, that's the problem. It's going to take a while to do it. No, well. I got nothing else to do because I didn't get the material for the for the top. And uh, my my goal for today, it was going to be the two front seats, but it seems like it ain't going to be possible. Once again, your boy Ish is, wait, is waiting for somebody else, like always. It's painted. It's black. It's done. We have one concern right now, and it's Jeff. He's my main designer, and right now he's designing the grill for the Hummer. Hopefully, he gets the design done, we can get it cut out, get it prepped, and get ready for paint tomorrow. Huh? What are you making? Uh, the grill that sets in the hood of the Hummer. Whoa. 
In the hood. Oh, up top? Yeah, on top of the hood, you know. Well, this is Christian's Hummer, and uh, a lot of his vehicles have the VIF Speed Shop logo on it. So we're going to make a custom grill that sets in the hood, has a logo cut out. It's going to be pretty nice. Huh? I think it's going to be pretty nice. Yeah. happy that we have like a hydrojet in our shop because in the past I've had to send stuff out to other shops, get stuff cut out, get it back and it doesn't look right or it's not the way I wanted it. This way we can actually have my designer design on it, cut it out and I can come and approve it before it's even finished. So ultimately it's like a big toy for us, you know, we can make parts that we never were able to make before. So for us, I love it. Hey, what's the VIF stand for? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't know. What we're doing right now is we're shooting the fenders for the Segway. We put a silver base coat down. We're gonna come over the top of it with a blue candy to mimic the parts that we already shot. The hole is a ground aluminum and uh, we did some graphics on it to make it look like the cable. We airbrushed some wires, I found it, did some chops in it, and it came out really nice. And then we put a blue candy over the top of that. I mean, it's basically down to the wires. We picked up tomorrow at 3.30, and we still got a lot of painting to do. Coming up on Street Customs. You never know you may run into a problem. We ran into a problem. Putting the last wheel together, the O-ring broke. So I got Rory on a mission right now at 4.30, right before everything closes at 5. Freaking out over here, man. I'm freaking out. Freaking out. The day after lunch, after being waiting for so many days for the logos, finally, today, I get them. Nice. Now that I have the logos, I don't got no excuse. No more waiting. Ryan used to it, make something out of nothing. So for now, it's easy for him being in the office. Office just calling the shot, is hey, make it happen. Because he think he, we got a magic uh, swamp. <laughs> but it's not like that. I have to get dirty to make it happen around here. The what? Need a ladder? Oh. Fresh. Pretty uncomfortable pillows, but at least it's um, in an uncomfortable truck. And uh, right after I finished the rear seats, I called Ryan, and he loves it. So now what I need to do is go back to my area and knock down. I might be able to finish the seats today. Can you pinstripe the dash, too, while you're at it? Yeah. Add some kind of something in here. Yeah. Buck is a painter that I've used for s several years in my company. He's an artist that I can use to design whatever it is, from pinstriping to airbrushing to custom color. He'll come up with it for me, exactly what I'm thinking in my head. What I'm doing is the VIF uh, logo, and we're gonna do the doors. It's gonna be like a two-tone, yellow and red. Probably gonna take two days. Today I'll lay on the orangish yellow. We'll layer it tomorrow with red and do the drop shadows and um, see how it comes out. It's going well, very well. 
Last night, I got a phone call from Ryan saying they're coming today to pick the Segway up. Pop! Hey, there you go. And not knowing the date of the delivery is a big portion of this uh, problem that we have here, so. I mean, I can't really blame nobody. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I can and just uh, try to get on it. So? And see what I can do and start assembly. I hope I remember how to ride this. It ain't like the one you rode. I know. You're gonna eat <laughs> No, I'm not. I think my favorite feature on it would be, it's hard to say, I mean, the I liked everything on it, from the custom fenders that we built to all the custom paint that actually identified the head monster and, you know, all the little accessories that we added. You like it? Look at the handle grips, the RCAs. Oh, where, where, where did you get that from? It's good that it's done, and hopefully Noel's gonna be really happy. It works. <laughs> it works. This and is it a looks good sign. Dirty. I mean, it definitely test drove just like the normal one did. It didn't really change at all. Besides, it just looks better. I mean, and that was what the goal was. We didn't want to affect any way the thing moved because that's really Noel's main, you know, piece of transportation. So I didn't want to affect any of that. So we kept it simple, clean, but still custom. What's up, Rob? Hey, how you doing? Good. Tom said you were coming? Yep. And I think it's, I mean, he's going to love it. It's perfect. It's exactly the way it was when we got it, only it just looks a lot better. We monsterized it. Bye bye. It's a long drive, eh? Another mission accomplished. Score. This morning, we're just doing final assembly on the Hummer, making sure every little bolt's tight, making sure everything works, putting everything together. Six o'clock, T-Rock. Whatever you got to do to make it happen, make it happen. Ryan came down and, and really dropped the hammer and got everybody working on it. We're going through Jason and I and T-Rock. We got the hood on, got the bumper on. All right, Mr. T-Rock. And. wiring up the uh, off-road lights that are going to go on the front bumper right now. All right, go ahead. Do one at a time. OK, that's my center. Do the other switch. All right, there you go. And it's just a lot of little stuff that, uh, you know, we just got to pull through and, and get done. Putting the name on the inside of the hub. It's the little things, you know? It's all the little tiny attention to detail stuff that we do that make things unique and a little more personalized. And that's kind of what makes this West Coast. We got a mask here. We're going to lay this out the way he follows the curvature. Yeah, I'll probably hand brush this in there for the lettering side of it, unmask it all, and then that way the mask will give a nice clean edge on here. The pinstriping is done with this color. This is what's around the Christian on here from the sides. We're down to the wire. This is the last part we got in my department to do, and. Uh, I feel pretty good about the results so far. Beto, so we're putting a deadline, 6 o'clock, OK? I think sometimes, you know, we have things under control, and, and Ryan can't see that and tries to kind of push everything ahead and put it down, and we'll drive it out. Freaking out over here, man. I'm freaking out, freaking out. But we'll be done with the car by the end of the day. Pretty confident. The visors, you can't put the visors back on. These cannot be here. No, because it, it covers over right here. Putting the center console in that Jason made. It's already all wired up. I just got to plug it in and mount it. My wires are going to be long enough. A little bit of hiccups in the very beginning, not really having room for my wires. I think we're going to have to cut this out, dude. Okay. Jason had to make some modifications to his center console so that it would work with my stuff, which is kind of funny because it's usually the opposite, but. <laughs> there should be more than enough room. Round two, dog. All right. I gave you a bunch of room. Let me see on the bottom. Can you uh, cut this out too? Right now, I really feel like punching somebody in the <laughs> face.
Better? Yeah. That's cool. Oh. What? Batteries might be dead if they left the lights on this whole time. She sounds, huh? Yeah. yeah. Bosco, can we do the tires now? Can you do start doing all that right now? So if there runs a problem, we still have a couple hours to get something. Okay. Please. The truck is an H1. That was a military truck. These are two-piece wheels that basically come apart, and you can change a tire in the field opposed to having to go to a wheel shop in the middle of Kuwait. What Moscow's got to do is assemble them. He's got to put the seal in between them, assemble them, put it the tires on them, mount them on the truck, and put this truck on the ground. See? You just need my power. Come on. Let's go, baby. You never know you may run into a problem. We ran into a problem. Putting the last wheel together, the O-ring broke. If we put a tire on the wheel without an O-ring, it's going to not even hold air for five minutes. Oh, this is why we started this project early. We have a big problem. Those O-rings are huge, and they're not something you just go pick up at Home Depot. We don't have very much time. So I got Rory on a mission right now, basically, at 4.30, right before everything closes at 5. Can't show up to Christians with a flat tire. Coming up on Street Customs. Why is it this hard to put on? When we went to put the roof on, we had a lot of trouble putting the pins back in. When there's 12 people all trying to cram themselves into one vehicle, it gets a little bit difficult. So it's 5.30, we're trying to get an O-ring for the wheel, so we can't get the last and final wheel on the truck. We're gonna miss our deadline by maybe a half an hour, but it's gonna be done tonight still. Mauricio's still gonna have his time to clean it, and we're ready to rock and roll. Can we put the roof on now? Okay. Good. When we went to put the roof on, we had a lot of trouble putting the pins back in. Why is it this hard to put on? Can we just take it back off and just shave all that down underneath here? There were three of us working on it, and everybody had different ideas. Hey, Sean. Yeah? We need to make, and Beto, we need to make this easy, because he's going to want me yeah, to take we, this we off. Know. Yeah. This is the first time it's going on with the interior. Okay. I'm just saying, because yeah. he's going to want it off, yeah, yeah. and i got to put it back on. I don't want it to be a When there's, you know, 12 people all trying to cram themselves into one vehicle, it gets a little bit difficult. Either way, we got it taken care of. Rory found the O-ring, like we always do. We always pull through at the last minute. Bada bing, bada boom. It's 6.30, truck is done, looks great. I'm gonna get it outside, get it cleaned up, and we head off to Christian's, and we're ready to rock and roll. So if you just get that seat drop down where that pin can go and clear, then we're fine. So we just got done with the Hummer. It turned out really cool. I'm really happy with it. Everybody pushed real hard and got it done by the deadline. Everything came together pretty cool. Looks perfect. On this build, the guys worked as a team, and ultimately, that's what I like to see. They worked together, turned out an awesome vehicle, and the work speaks for itself. Driving the Hummer went pretty well, you know? Definitely isn't a fast truck. I mean, it definitely could drive through the building if I wanted to, but it probably couldn't race a Camaro. I think the wheels were perfect, you know? Definitely changing them to something custom or doing something like that wasn't really an option, so I figured let's just powder coat them, paint the ring red, and, you know, put his name on it, throw some new tires on it, and it's good to go. The handling of the, the Hummer is definitely nothing that you can really compare to. It doesn't, it doesn't compare to an Escalade, and it definitely doesn't compare to any car that, that I've driven. It's solid, and it's built for military. It handles like probably like every other Hummer out in Kuwait does, but for what Christian wants it for, it's perfect. I think everything we did from the seats 
definitely was a huge improvement to the sound system we put into it, to all the custom little details that we did that, you know, Christian is definitely going to love, and I, and I really can't wait to show it to him. Today is a very big day for me because today is the launch of uh, my new brand, Vip uh, Speed Shop. And I have my photographer ready to shoot the campaign now. Yeah! That is not the car. Yeah! Oh my god, that's beautiful, huh? Just finished delivering the car, that's definitely the reaction we were looking for. Oh, that's amazing. You're done! <laughs> what I like the most about this car, it looks like exactly like my t-shirt, you know? This console in the center, yeah. we build it for you so you can put your iPod, plug it in, has a little... With Christian, everything's rush, rush, rush. And with this unveiling, it's way different than the normal one where we pull a cover and we surprise them, this and that. Like, like the, the wheels? Yes. Yeah. Smoked all the lights. Added a little bit of pinstripe, oh, you know. We can take off the roof. Yes, you want to take it off? Yes. Pop out. I walked him around it really quick. He said, okay, let's move it over here, put all these people in it. Let's do a photo shoot right now. <laughs> Christian knows what he likes, and when it pulled up, he knew immediately he liked it. Christian, throw your W. Come on, give him a West Coast. He wants to use this as a showpiece vehicle for this new brand he's about to launch, and we just did a photo shoot within 20 minutes. Thank you! There it is, there it is. So what I like in the Hammer is first the top, you know? Now he's very classy. I like, the, of course, the detail of it. The pinstripe are amazing. And the, my favorite stuff is all the, in front of the car, you have this grill with the beef speed shop on it. So that gives uh, to me the, the label, you know? To the rest of the body. Ah! You can send the hood, because everything's on the hood, you know? We're going to be masking the Hummer and prepping it out for paint. There's certain areas of the car that we're going to be linexing and certain areas of the car that we're going to be painting, so I have to find out which areas that we want linex on and which areas we want paint on and mask everything for linex so that way we're not getting overspray or anything underneath there that could possibly mess up their adhesion and the way they do their process to linex and stuff. The owner wants everything how it is. He doesn't want a brand new one. He wants a nice beat up rugged one. So we're just changing the color and keeping all the problems, which is complete 100% opposite of what we're usually doing because we're keeping it looking nasty instead of making it perfect. Coming up on Street Customs. Hey everyone. I think the biggest concern on this build is the Ishmael's department. He wants to take it upon himself to build seats and then he has to do the stop. He's got a lot on his hands. So I hope he gets it done. I just want to go over scheduling today. Okay. What's our plan, Stan? Uh, first thing this morning, I'm going to blast the hood, and then I'm going to have the guys start masking up on the Hummer, and then uh, we want to blast that this afternoon. Are we done yet? Are we done yet? Are we done yet? The single stage flat base what we're going to use on this vehicle. It's basically a, a single stage paint, so it's going to cover probably two coats and be done with it. Um, it's pretty durable stuff. It's, it's, it's like a, basically almost like a clear with the color mix in it. It's got a flattening agent already built into it also, so it's going to basically lay down. It's going to flatten out and kind of get the effect that we're looking for. What we're trying to do is use this with the graininess of the original paint on the vehicle to kind of give it that rough, rugged uh, texture. I think the biggest concern with on this build is, is Ishmael's department. Is it this one? 
We just got this. If I get rid of this and this. I don't, you know, the seats is an issue, and he wants to take it you know, upon himself to build seats, and then he has to do this top. He's got a lot on his hands. At this point, I have to make it an uh, itch style. Visors. You can't put the visors back on. These cannot be here. No, because it, it covers over right here. Putting the center console in that Jason made. It's already all wired up. I just got to plug it in and mount it. My wires are going to be long enough. A little bit of hiccups in the very beginning. Not really having room for my wires. I think we're going to have to cut this out, dude. Okay. Jason had to make some modifications to his center console so that it would work with my stuff, which is kind of funny because it's usually the opposite. But <laughs> there should be more than enough room. Round two, dog. All right. I gave you a bunch of room. Let me see on the bottom. Can you uh, cut this out too? Right now, I really feel like punching somebody in the <laughs> face. Better? Yeah. That's cool. Oh. What? Batteries might be dead if they left the lights on this whole time. She sounds, huh? Yeah. yeah. Moscow. Can we do the tires now? Can you do start doing all that right now? So if there runs a problem, we still have a couple hours to get something. Okay. Please. The truck is a H1. That was a military truck. These are two-piece wheels that basically come apart, and you can change a tire in the field opposed to having to go to a wheel shop in the middle of Kuwait. What Moscow's got to do is assemble them. He's got to put the seal in between them, assemble them, put it the tires on them, mount them on the truck, and put this truck on the ground. You just need my power. Come on. Let's go, baby. You never know you may run into a problem. We ran into a problem. Putting the last wheel together, the O-ring broke. If we put a tire on the wheel without an O-ring, it's going to not even hold air for five minutes. Oh, this is why we started this project early. We have a big problem. Those O-rings. wiring up the uh, off-road lights that are going to go on the front bumper right now. All right, go ahead. Do one at a time. OK, that's my center. Do the other switch. All right, there you go. And it's just a lot of little stuff that, uh, you know, we just got to pull through and, and get done. Putting the name on the inside of the hub, it's the little things, you know? It's all the little teeny attention to detail stuff that we do that make things unique and a little more personalized. And that's kind of what makes this West Coast. We got a mask here. We're going to lay this out the way he follows the curvature. Y'all you know, probably hand brush this in there for the lettering side of it, unmask it all, and then that way it's the mask will give a nice clean edge on here. The pinstriping is done with this color. This is what's around the Christian on his ear from the sides. We're down to the wire. This is the last part we got in my department to do, and. Uh, I feel pretty good about the results so far. Beto, so we're putting a deadline, 6 o'clock, OK? I think sometimes, you know, we have things under control, and Ryan can't see that and tries to kind of push everything ahead and put it down, and we'll drive it out. Freaking out over here, man. I'm freaking out, freaking out. We'll be done with the car by the end of the day. Pretty confident.
Just the visors. You can't put the visors back on. These cannot be here. No, because it, it covers over right here. Putting this center console in that Jason made. It's already all wired up. I just got to plug it in and mount it. My wires, they're going to be long enough. A little bit of hiccups in the very beginning, not really having room for my wires. I think we're going to have to cut this out, dude. Okay. Jason had to make some modifications to his center console so that it would work with my stuff, which is kind of funny because it's usually the opposite, but. <laughs> there should be more than enough room. Round two, dog. All right. I gave you a bunch of room. Let me see on the bottom. Can you uh, cut this out too? Right now, I really feel like punching somebody in the <laughs> face. Better? Yeah. That's cool. Oh. What? Batteries might be dead if they left the lights on. And tries to kind of push everything ahead and put it down, and we'll drive it out. Freaking out over here, man. I'm freaking out. Freaking out. But we'll be done with the car by the end of the day. Pretty confident. The visors, you can't put the visors back on. These cannot be here. No, because it, it covers over right here. Putting this center console in that Jason made. It's already all wired up. I just got to plug it in and mount it. My wires, they're going to be long enough. A little bit of hiccups in the very beginning, not really having room for my wires. I think we're going to have to cut this out, dude. OK. Jason had to make some modifications to his center console so that it would work with my stuff, which is kind of funny because it's usually the opposite. But <laughs> there should be more than enough room. Round two, dog. I gave you a bunch of room. Let me see on the bottom. Can you uh, cut this out, too? Because right now, I really feel like punching somebody in the <laughs> face. Better? Yeah. That's cool. Oh. What? Batteries might be dead if they left the lights on this whole time. She sounds, huh? Yeah. Let's go. Can we do the tires now? Can you do start doing all that right now? So if there runs a problem, we still have a couple hours to get something. Okay. Please. The truck is an H1. That was a military truck. These are two-piece wheels that basically come apart, and you can change a tire in the field opposed to having to go to a wheel shop in the middle of Kuwait. What Moscow's got to do is assemble them. He's got to put the seal in between them, assemble them, put it the tires on them, mount them on the truck, and put this truck on the ground. See? You just need my power. Come on. Let's go, baby. You never know you may run into a problem. We ran into a problem. The unmask it all, and then that way it's the mask. We'll give a nice clean edge on here. The pinstriping is done with this color. This is what's around the Christian on his ear from the sides. down to the wire. This is the last part we got in my department to do, and uh, I feel pretty good about the results so far. Beto, so we're putting a deadline, 6 o'clock, OK? I think sometimes, you know, we have things under control, and Ryan can't see that, and tries to kind of push everything ahead and put it down, and we'll drive it out. 
freaking out over here, man. I'm freaking out, freaking out. We'll be done with the car by the end of the day. Pretty confident. The visors, you can't put the visors back on. These cannot be here. No, because it, it covers over right here. Putting the center console in that Jason made. It's already all wired up. I just got to plug it in and mount it. My wires, they're going to be long enough. A little bit of hiccups in the very beginning, not really having room for my wires. I think we're going to have to cut this out, dude. Okay. Jason had to make some modifications to his center console so that it would work with my stuff, which is kind of funny because it's usually the opposite, but. <laughs> there should be more than enough room. Round two, dog. Right. I gave you a bunch of room. Let me see on the bottom. Can you uh, cut this out too? Right now, I really feel like punching somebody in the <laughs> face. Better? Yeah. That's cool. Oh. What? Batteries might be dead if they left the lights on this whole time. She sounds, huh? Yeah. yeah. Moscow. Can we do the tires now? Can you do start doing all that right now? So if there runs a problem, we still have a couple hours to get something. Okay. Please. The truck is H1. That was a military truck. These are two-piece wheels that base. What I'm doing is the VIF uh, logo, and we're going to do the doors. It's going to be like a two-tone, yellow and red. Probably going to take two days. Today, I'll lay on the orangish yellow. We'll layer it tomorrow with red and do the drop shadows and um, see how it comes out. Last night, I got a phone call from Ryan saying they're coming today to pick the Segway up. Pop! Hey, there you go. And not knowing the date of the delivery is a big portion of this uh, problem that we have here, so. I mean, I can't really blame nobody. <laughs> I'm going to do what I can and just uh, try to get on it so? and see what I can do and start assembly. I hope I remember how to ride this. It ain't like the one you rode. I know. You're gonna eat No, I'm not. I think my favorite feature on it would be, it's hard to say, I mean, the I liked everything on it, from the custom fenders that we built to all the custom paint that actually identified the head monster and, you know, all the little accessories that we added. You like it? Look at the handle grips, they're RCAs. Oh, where, where did you get that from? It's good that it's done, and it hopefully Noel's gonna be really happy. It works. It works. This and is a good sign. Dirty. I mean, it definitely test drove just like the normal one did. It didn't really change at all. Besides, it just looked better. I mean, and that was what the goal was. We didn't want to affect any way the thing moved because that's really Noel's main, you know, piece of transportation. So I didn't want to affect any of that. So we kept it simple, it was clean, but still custom. What's up, Rob? Hey, how you doing? Good. Tom said you were coming? Yep. And I think it's, I mean, he's going to love it. It's perfect. It's exactly the way it was when we got it, only it just looks a lot better. We monsterized it. Bye bye. It's a long drive, eh? Another mission accomplished. Score.
This morning, we're just doing final assembly on the Hummer, making sure every little bolt's tight, making sure everything works, putting everything together. Six o'clock, T-Rock. Whatever you got to do to make it happen, make it happen. Ryan came down and, and really dropped the hammer and got everybody working on it. We're going through Jason and I and T-Rock. We got the hood on, got the bumper on. All right, Mr. T-Rock. Building if I wanted to, but it probably couldn't race a Camaro. I think the wheels were perfect, you know? Definitely changing them to something custom or doing something like that wasn't really an option, so I figured let's just powder coat them, paint the ring red, and you know, put his name on it, throw some new tires on it, and it's good to go. The handling of the, the Hummer is definitely nothing that you can really compare to. It doesn't, it doesn't compare to an Escalade, and it definitely doesn't compare to any car that, that I've driven. It's solid, and it's built for military. It handles like probably like every other Hummer out in Kuwait does, but for what Christian wants it for, it's perfect. I think everything we did from the seats definitely was a huge improvement to the sound system we put into it, to all the custom little details that we did that, you know, Christian is definitely going to love, and I, and I really can't wait to show it to him. Follow me, uh, one after the other one. Today is a very big day for me because today is the launch of uh, my new brand, Beef uh, Speed Shop. And I have my photographer ready to shoot the campaign now. That is not the car. Oh my God, that's beautiful, huh? We just finished delivering the car. That's Definitely the reaction we were looking for. Oh, that's amazing. You're done! <laughs> what I like the most about this car, it looks like exactly like my T-shirt, you know? This console in the center, yeah. we build it for you so you can put your iPod, plug it in, has a little... With Christian, everything's rush, rush, rush. And with this unveiling, it's way different than the normal one where we pull a cover and we surprise them, this and that. Like, like the, the wheels? Yes. Yeah. Smoked all the lights. Added a little bit of pinstripe, oh, you know. We can take off the roof. Yes, you want to take it off? Yes. Right pop out. Right this guy walked him around it really quick. He said, "Okay, let's move it over here. Put all these people in it. Let's do a photo shoot right now." <laughs> Christian knows what he likes, and when it pulled up, he knew immediately he liked it. Christian, throw your W. Wait. Come on, give him the West Coast. He wants to use this as a showpiece vehicle for this new brand he's about to launch. And we just did a photo shoot within 20 minutes. Okay. Thank you! There it is, there it is. So what I like in the hammer is first the top, you know. That now it's very classy. I like the, of course, the detail of it, the pinstripe are amazing. And uh, my favorite stuff is all... I know about doing that in the shop. I really don't want to burn the shop down while no one's here. Back it all the way up and put a jack under it and just spin the front end out. When I was a kid, my dad always taught me to use a rope or a strap line and pull the tire tight to make sure the bead pops out. And I haven't done it in years, but it just popped up out of my head. I know, or maybe we should tie a strap around it and boom, it works. Solid. You're smarter than the average T-Rock. We took care of that, got air in it, drove it over to the body shop. Disassembled the doors and explained to them what little was going about the doors, the door skins. I would say just get it maybe halfway straight. At the top, I would definitely seal because I don't know if there's rubber up here or not. So, be the boss, dog. Be the boss. The reason we weld those doors just is because it's two pieces of metal, and that's going to be the top of the door. So in case there's any water leaks or anything like that, it'll lift the filler up and crack around there, and we don't want none of that to happen. So we just weld this shut for insurance, back ourselves up, make sure it's done right. Working here at West Coast Customs, it's always fun because there's always different projects I get to work on. Right now, I'm customizing the Segway for Noel. He's the head of Monster Cable. He's disabled and walking is tough for him, but he's able to stand, so he uses a Segway to get around. It's fun because it's totally different from what I usually do. I feel like I'm working at a bicycle shop. Right now I'm working on the fenders. I'm gonna go ahead and start making the tops of the fenders and making the 
the skirts that go halfway down the wheel or so and weld them all in one piece, get them mounted and get them over to the body shop. Ryan's pretty much, he's asked me to just take my creative side and throw it at the Segway. There's only two fenders, so it's gonna look a little weird, but I think by the time we're done, as painted and pinstriped and whatnot, it'll be looking good. The bottom looks pretty good, yeah? These doors have to match the rest of the body. The plan for today is going to be to prime the doors. We decided to prep the doors out like if we were going to paint them. Normally we prime it, we leave it real smooth for the paint to stick, so we leave a nice finish. But the customer wants a different finish on this. He wants the textury, mean look. So in order for us to do that, we have to match the doors to the rest of the body. Ah! He gets on the hood, because everything on the hood, you know? We're gonna be masking the Hummer and prepping it out for paint. There's certain areas of the car that are gonna be lying next to you. this, right here. I'm getting passed by a big rig. That's not good. <laughs> so we need suede, leather, everything in this, Ish. I like the seats. Simple. Simple, right? <laughs> We're gonna still keep it military. We just gotta give it a little bit of our touch to it, you know? We definitely need to put a big air horn on this thing. Suede headliner on the removable roof. Can we do it? The upholstery and stereo is gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna put four new buckets in it that are comfortable, seat belts, and a simple stereo. The rendering that was drawn shows a full convertible Hummer. There's no such thing as a full convertible Hummer. I'll get this thing stripped apart and let you look at it. Okay. We have to kind of work together and figure out how I can make the pictures into reality. The first thing I gotta do is strip it down. I gotta pull the roof off it, maybe I'll pull the seats off it. I, mean, I don't know how easily convertible he wants it. Well, we should make it easy, where you just pull some pins and you lift the whole top off together. You know what I mean? This is kind of what we showed him already. I think we should make it look like this. Figure it out, Sean, come on. Can oh, we make man, a custom grill for this? It's something we can cut out with the hydrojet. All right, then that's the plan. Now it looks like the rendering, I guess. <laughs> We brought in T-Rock on this build just to really help him break it down, get it over to paint as soon as we can, and, you know, we'll see how it goes from there. So, we kind of come off here like this. Wes is gonna jump into it with the stereo side of it. Christian doesn't like a lot of bass anyway, so it's more putting some speakers in there and putting a stereo in there that works. It's gonna have to be loud if you're gonna hear it. Yeah. The only other thing we wanna do is like do an air horn in here. Let's push that horn right now. Well, that's pretty gangster. <laughs> so I think we should do a Bah! That's it. The original soft top wasn't meant to be taken off in one piece. When somebody does a ring. Coming up on Street Customs. I think the biggest concern on this build is the Ishmael's department. He wants to take it upon himself to build seats and then he has to do the stop. He's got a lot on his hands. So I hope he gets it done. I just want to go over scheduling today. Okay. What's our plan, Stan? 
Uh, first thing this morning, I'm going to blast the hood, and then I'm going to have the guys start masking up on the Hummer, and then uh, we want to blast that this afternoon. Are we done yet? The single stage flat base what we're going to use on this vehicle. It's basically a, a single stage paint, so it's going to cover probably two coats and be done with it. Um, it's pretty durable stuff. It's, it's, it's like a, basically almost like a clear with the color mix in it. It's got a flattening agent already built into also, so it's going to basically lay down, it's going to flatten out and kind of get the effect that we're looking for. What we're trying to do is use this with the graininess of the original paint on the vehicle to kind of give it that rough, rugged uh, texture. I think the biggest concern with on this build is, is Ishmael's department. So this one, we just got this. If I get rid of this and this, I don't, you know, the seats is an issue, and he wants to take it, you know, upon himself to build seats, and then he has to do this top. He's got a lot on his hands. At this point, I have to make it a uh, itch, itch style. These seats that I'm doing for the Hummer, they're going to be simple. The whole seat is going to be black with the uh, red stitching. The center is going to be black. Ryan wants red, but I don't think it's a good idea because the car is going to be all black. I think it's going to look it's going to look pretty clean. You know what I was thinking when I thought about this? What? What we got to do is logo in it. Where do you want to do it? Here? I was going to go full speed on the seats, but then Ryan told me that he's waiting for the logo. All of a sudden, he came up with a logo thing. So I have to wait. Here? So I'm like stuck. That's the that's the, that's the problem. It's gonna take a while to do it. No, well, I got nothing else to do because I didn't get the material for the for the top, and 